Hi, and welcome to So Many Things video series. We wanted to share this video series with you from Creative Grids, but we also wanted to add a little bit extra because we had them in the shop to do seminars and they were so awesome. So enjoy the videos and stay tuned for a bonus tip at the end. This wall hanging was made with the four inch log cabin trim tool. And in this case, these finish to just a half an inch wide, but it's very easy to do with a ruler. And then I found when we came out with the pineapple trim tool in the mini size, these strips are the exact same width. So I'm going to show you how you can cut enough to do 65 blocks in a matter of minutes. So here's how you do that. Those strips for those two blocks that I showed you are actually at one and a quarter inches. So that's the width and that happens to be half the width of the two and a half inch strips that are in a jelly roll. So I literally take my jelly roll strips, put the white line on the outside, can you see it right there? And then I can slice those in half. And I'm going to get two 40 inch strips that are one and a quarter inches wide out of each two and a half inch strip. That's exactly the width I need. And so when I do this to an entire jelly roll in a matter of minutes, I have enough that I can do 65 blocks in no time at all. Now you have to remember though that the right amount of light strips and dark strips need to be in the jelly roll. So this is just an approximation. So here's the bonus tip. Our teacher was teaching us about how to be smart about being scrappy. So we all love to be scrappy, but she gave us the tip and this made so much sense. Instead of just piling everything into one thing, you know, Christmas fabrics and Civil War fabrics and, you know, small florals and all those kinds of things, keep your scrappies together based on their theme. So keep all your Civil War scrappies together and keep all your Christmas scrappies together and keep all your floral scrappies together. Then when it's time to go make your scrappy piece, just choose one of those and that gives a cohesiveness to the fabric. You get the great effect of the scrappiness, but you don't end up with sort of these oddball fabrics. And let's face it, not all fabrics work together. So we hope you enjoyed this tip.